Howdy folks, welcome back to Empyreon Academy and today's lesson is going to be the build tools involving the selection and cut copy paste all that stuff all the clipboard stuff and first I wanted to really quickly show you the symmetry plane because they did change this since the last time I did a build video and so what you do is you select this and it allows you to place the plane wherever you're placing it and what I wanted to show you was that when you click say we click over here to set the blue plane now the green plane is actually going to be set on this location so if we switch over here now you see it's over here now if we go back to here we put the blue plane over here the green plane will now be moved from here over to here as you can see and so yeah when you're setting one plane you're actually you're actually uh, setting all of them so you're setting the X and Y and Z coordinates for all of your planes whenever you click. And so I just wanted to show you that and you can turn it back off by doing that. And so they have, the other news is they have actually updated to where most of the blocks are now usable across the plane. And there are still a few of them like this one here. So as you can see, there are a few of them. So you do still want to watch and make sure that that you are getting the right results that you want. Okay, so the real meat of this video is the selection tools and let's get started on that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna select this, you wanna click that and you wanna do the move selection thing and then just start dragging on your screen here and it will drag out an area. Now you can try if you wanna spend hours trying to drag out the perfect thing, I guess you can try that but basically you're not going to get it because the screen is two dimensional and you're trying to drag out a three dimensional volume so you're not going to do it so just drag something out and go from there so this is this allows you to move your selection back and forth and as you see the doubles at the end allow you to move as you drag the single arrow just moves it once with each click so like that okay and then when you click this sphere in the middle you're switching between modes here as you see and so you can scale your selection here so let's get this pad selected and the other thing you want to know is that it is not necessary to stay in one position the whole time so you can move around like we're doing here and reposition and hit n again and now you can scale your selection to get this whole thing there we go and let's see if we got the bottom of it there nope we need one more block and there we go and so now we've got this selected and let's see that we've got it on all sides okay so now what you can do here is this is like a regular clipboard in any text editor or other clipboard type thing so you can do copy or cut so obviously if you cut it's going to remove it and if you copy it's just going to copy to the clipboard so i think we're going to start with copy here and then the paste operation is going to basically paste an attached block to this but it's actually going to put a preview first so this is not when you click this the first time it is not actually pasting anything the blocks that you're seeing here are just ghost blocks and so this allows you to position your target where you want it to be and so we're going to stick it right here next to this other one so that we can put them parallel and let's see here we're gonna do that and then we're going to hit paste the second time and there you go and so now we have the actual solid blocks we can stand on this here and these are actual blocks okay and the other thing you can do here we're gonna use the cut feature as you see you can do cut and then you can move and paste and that will put your ghost blocks again with your paste operation and you can also you can rotate as you're doing your paste operation here before you before you finalize it so yeah you can rotate your blocks and there you go you can rotate the whole thing around and so then we paste it in and there we go now the other thing that we have here is the delete and so what this will do is wherever you have selected this will actually delete all the blocks in there so that is actually the delete of blocks so if we do this as you see it will delete it and 
The difference between that and cut is obviously that cut puts it on the clipboard. This just cuts it and doesn't put it on the clipboard. And then we can undo that to put it back. So they do have multiple levels of undo. So as you see here, we can do multiple levels of undo. And it looks like there may be some non-perfect <laughs> results there. It, it looks like. Let's see, are those are those actually existing blocks? Yeah, so if you undo, if you're relying on undo, you might want to, uh, or is that, no, that isn't, that isn't a bug. That's actually these blocks right here. Okay, those were part of that selection. All right, so anyway, we have those, and then the other operation we have here is remove selection. Now what that is, is that's actually select none. So that isn't, you're not like deleting any blocks or anything like that, that is select none, as you see there. And then the other thing we can do, let's see, do we have, nope, I don't think we have a, let's paste ba something back in here, or let's just make a selection. Let's see, we can do this, and let's create a selection block, and we'll show you the fill, the fill selection here. So whatever you have selected on here, if it's these blocks, it will fill whatever area you have selected with that and you can use regular blocks you can use the shapes obviously the sub shapes of the blocks you can use devices you can fill this whole space with lights or turrets or fridges or whatever if I suppose if you want to but that's what the fill selection does and we can undo that there we go and so that is all of these and then what this does here this save to list is let's get this let's get our selection filled out here okay so we've gotten the selection set up here and so now we're gonna save to list and now what this does is let's call this the landing platform what this does is it basically stores the location of your selection so your selection box it does not save the actual blocks that are inside here this is just like a bookmark of the point in space that you want to name and so if you select the show BP parts now it'll actually put a label on that so I'm gonna go select another tower and we have this tower selected now and so we can save this one also as tower and now we have two different parts and so we can show our different ones here by selecting them and it will actually label them now again these are just the bookmarks but what you can do now is you can copy to selection and that'll move your selection area to that and then if you copy and do a paste as you see it has put this onto your clipboard and so now if you want to clear your selection here let's go back to our tower and we're gonna copy to selection we're gonna copy now we want to move this to a different base so we want to copy this from this base to this base over here what you first need to do is first you've got that on your clipboard and then you need to do a remove selection and remove selection there we go and then move selection here and you want to select something on here now you can paste and when it pastes it actually as you see here attaches it to this base instead and so we can paste this in like this and the other thing that I wanted to show you is that when you have empty space in your paste region it does actually delete the as you see here so it doesn't just paste in the blocks that you have it also pastes in the non blocks within your selection so you do want to be careful about like over selecting you know selecting a huge area off to the side and then when you go to paste it in it deletes stuff that was going to be right next to there so yeah you do want to be careful with that and the other thing that we have here if we go back to this one now we want to do our selection as you notice the show BP parts nothing is showing up if we go back to here and we remove selection and then we select something on this base once again our BP parts are showing up here so there we go with that and the other thing that you will want to know is this Let's see let's do a selection here so this button here the replace will replace our landing platform or our tower so let me see let's do a select here and if we 
have landing platform selected and we replace it, then the landing platform bookmark will now be here. So that's what the replace button does. And that is all of the, obviously you can delete and rename these BP, these BP parts so I can remove the landing platform and I can name this something else. And yep, that is all of that is all of the functionality. And there we go. So that's all of the functionality for the selection and paste tools. And so I hope you found those helpful. And if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. And we will uh, I will try to do my best to answer your questions in the comments, or maybe even if there's something major I left out, then I'll make another video to cover that. But that's going to be it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.